In previous classes, we learned that if theta is the inclination, then slope of a straight line is tan theta. If a straight line is passing through two points, x1, y1 and x2, y2, then slope of that straight line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In this class, we will learn the proofs of conditions of slopes. You see here, if two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. I am going to prove this result now. First, I will consider two parallel lines. Let L1, L2 are two parallel lines whose inclinations are theta1 and theta2 respectively. I will draw the diagram for this so that you can understand it very easily. You observe here, I considered two parallel lines L1, L2. The inclination of line L1 is theta1. The inclination of line L2 is theta2. Slope of line L1 is tan theta1 because theta1 is the inclination of this line. If theta1 is the inclination of this line, what is slope of this line? Tan theta1. What is slope of line L2? Yes, what is slope of line L2? L2 line inclination is theta2. So slope of line L2 is tan theta2. We know that slope of a line is denoted by m. What I will do? I will consider slope of line L1 as m1, slope of line L2 as m2. Now you observe this diagram. If L1, L2 are parallel, then this x-axis acts as a transversal. As the lines L1, L2 are parallel, x-axis acts as a transversal. We know that in a transversal, corresponding angles are equal. You observe, theta1, theta2 are the corresponding angles. As x-axis acts as a transversal, corresponding angles are equal. That means, theta1 equal to theta2. Okay, I'll apply tan to this on both sides. Apply tan to this on both sides, what you will get? Tan theta1 equal to tan theta2. What is tan theta1? That is slope of first line. Okay. What is tan theta2? That is slope of second line. What happened here? If two lines are parallel, then we got that their slopes are equal. m1 equal to m2. So from now onwards, in this chapter, straight lines, Whenever two lines are parallel, then we will consider that their slopes are equal. Now, we have one more result that if two lines are perpendicular, then product of their slopes is minus 1. That result proof also we will discuss now. You see this theorem, if two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, then product of their slopes equal to minus 1. I will discuss about this non-vertical lines at the end. For time being, you remember like this. If two lines are perpendicular, then product of their slopes equal to minus 1. I am going to prove this result. First, I will consider two perpendicular lines like this. You observe here in this diagram, there are two lines. They are perpendicular and inclination of first line is theta1, inclination of second line is theta2. I considered two perpendicular lines like this. What is inclination of line L1? That is theta1. Slope of line L1. We know that slope of a line is denoted by m. I will consider slope of line L1 as m1. As theta1 is the inclination, slope of line L1 is tan theta1. Similarly, slope of line L2. I will consider slope of line L2 as m2. As theta2 is the inclination of line L2, its slope is tan theta2. You observe here, as these two lines are perpendicular, this angle is 90 degrees. From figure, we can observe a relation here. What is that relation? Theta2 is the exterior angle. We know that in a triangle, exterior angle is sum of two interior opposite angles. Theta2 is sum of two interior opposite angles. Theta2 can be written as 90 degrees plus theta1. Now, I will apply tan to this on both sides. Tan theta2 equal to tan 90 degrees plus theta1. Okay. Tan theta2 equal to 
as 90 degrees is there tan changes to cot these things we learn in trigonometry cot theta 1 as 90 degrees is there tan changes to cot theta 1 and 90 degrees plus theta 1 lies in second quadrant in second quadrant tan is negative all these things proofs also i did in trigonometry chapter you can check all those videos over there tan 90 degrees plus theta 1 is minus cot theta 1 okay tan theta 2 equal to we know from trigonometry cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta so cot theta 1 can be written as 1 by tan theta 1 now you take tan theta 1 to this side then what you will get you will get that tan theta 1 into tan theta 2 equal to minus 1 what is tan theta 1 slope of line l1 that means m1 into what is tan theta 2 tan theta 2 is slope of line l2 that is m2 m1 into m2 equal to minus 1 what we proved here if two lines are perpendicular then product of their slopes equal to minus 1 here you observe this theorem statement they mention that two non vertical lines you observe this diagram here i consider two perpendicular lines these two lines are perpendicular i'll take this as line l1 i'll take this line as l2 these two lines are perpendicular as per the statement we learn if two non vertical lines are perpendicular product of their slopes is minus 1 here if any one line is vertical what is slope of this line see ang what is inclination of this line what is the angle made by this line with x axis that is 90 degrees when it comes to slope of this line m2 equal to tan 90 degrees what is tan 90 degrees tan 90 degrees is not defined that means slope of a vertical line is not defined this we discussed in earlier class also so uh, this line is parallel to x axis what is inclination of this line inclination of this line is 0 degrees what is slope of this line slope of this line is tan 0 degrees tan 0 degrees is 0 here you observe product of slopes m1 into m2 m1 is 0 into m2 m2 is not defined 0 into not defined is not defined don't think that it is 0 0 into a number which you do not know will be not defined 0 into infinity is not defined so here however you can easily understand that product of slopes is not minus 1 what the point is two non vertical lines are perpendicular then only product of their slopes is minus 1 if any one of the line is vertical and they are perpendicular then this result doesn't works okay two non vertical lines are perpendicular then only product of their slopes is minus 1 i hope you understand this class in next class we will learn the proof of angle between two lines formula